my lovely Aquarians. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your December weekly reading. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and they are on sale for the holiday season. Recorded video readings, one question for $10, four questions for $30, and Zoom readings for 45. And everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Aquarians, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Aqua, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you guys. Seven of Swords in the reverse of the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. Yeah, see, for the situation, we have the King of Swords in the reverse as well. I do kind of feel like somebody has you feeling a little bit down or has you kind of taken you by surprise a little bit here. I do feel like the king of swords in the reverse that can be an energy of speaking in half truths or dishonesty and with the seven of swords in the reverse i do kind of feel like you are um some kind of truth is coming out here okay about a person here and i do feel like for some of you guys it could take you by surprise for others of you it's just got you feeling a little bit down you know um but i do feel like somebody has been either withholding information or speaking in half truths being dishonest with you now they want to talk about it so this is obviously somebody that you guys have a an you know, a very deep connection with, a lot of love with. We have the King and Queen of Swords here. They are showing up as divine counterparts. So I do feel like you have a very close bond with this person. That being said, there's there's some stuff going on right now. You're showing up here as the devil. So I do, I feel like you're seeing where something is, you know, a little bit toxic or a little bit unhealthy. And I think it is because of some kind of dishonesties or secrets here. We're going to get more into it. But somebody wants to talk about it. Somebody's like, let's talk about it. Let's work through this. And I'm, I'm not sure how you're feeling. I'm really not sure how you're feeling. We have very soon. And closed heart. Yeah, I do. I feel like some some truths are coming out very soon. For some of you guys, others, for others of you, they think like they already have and you guys are making a decision very soon. I do feel like you're a little bit closed off when it comes to this person because of whatever has come to light. Tell me more about this energy. We got the nine of cups here. And the full card. Somebody is wishing for like a second chance or a clean slate with you after this. It's like, just give me another chance. Let's kind of put this behind us. Let's have a clean slate. But I feel like you're a little closed off to it. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. Why is that here? The Ten of Swords. Because there has been some kind of betrayal here. And they don't want this to come to an end. That's why they want to talk about things. That's why they want to work through things. They don't want to see whatever this dishonesty and betrayal is lead to this being over that the wheel of fortune they want to change things they want to shift the energy they want to be able to move past it effort now they're putting all this effort in now they they're ready to sit down they're ready to have these big conversations give me a chance yeah so now you're seeing all this effort. Now you're seeing them, you know, ready to talk when I feel like there's been a period of time where that wasn't the case, right? Tell me about this devil energy. Why is that here? And I also feel like this could be representing a lot of fear. I feel like there's a lot of fear in leaving and a lot of fear in staying as well, right? Fear of letting go and leaving somebody who means so much to you behind, but also fear of putting yourself in a position to continue to deal with this. The hermit, I feel like you guys are doing a lot of deep reflection at this time. I feel like some of you guys have pulled back your energy. You're feeling like a little bit emotionally closed off or a little bit guarded. And you're really trying to take a hard look at the situation and decide what's best for you in it. You're seeing a different, like you're seeing something and it's hard to unsee it. The Ten of Wands, it's really weighing on you. It's really weighing on you. Some of you guys are not sure if this is something that you can get past. <sighs> Obstacles. Yeah, it's it's 
it's hard. You know, there, there's a lot that you're carrying here and it feels like it's all on you. And yeah, this person is all of a sudden ready to do it, but you're like, is it going to last? You're the one who brought all these obstacles on, you know, I'm not saying it's all this person, but we also have into you. So you, but you do feel this intense connection with this person. You do feel this very strong bond. It is kind of undeniable for you. I don't know what to do. You know, I think you guys have kind of pulled back while you try to figure it out. That the Four of Pentacles is the challenge. Trying to get your head and heart on the same page. You can see there's one pentacle over the head and one over the heart, and they're in perfect alignment. And I feel like your head and heart are not quite on the same page, right? Your head may be saying one thing, and your heart's pulling you in a different direction. And, and that is part of the challenge, is getting your head and heart on the same page so that you feel like you can make a decision confidently. As well as, you know, he's got this pentacle over his heart almost like a shield. You know, and now you're feeling a little bit closed off. You're feeling a little bit protected. It's hard to work through something when you're in that energy. But when someone has hurt you, it's hard not to be in that energy. The lovers in the reverse, you're feeling a disconnect between you and this person, and you know you have a decision to make, but it's like the more, I feel like the more pressure you put on yourself to make the decision, the harder it is for you to make. Got the page of cups in the reverse. Somebody could be trying to apologize, but I almost feel like you don't want to hear it. There's a part of you that is even wondering if it's genuine or if it's just to get you back or just to keep this alive or, you know, just to get what they want. I was trying to get a reaction from you. And I'm trying to stay positive. So somebody is, you know, really pulling out all the stops, trying to to get you to open back up to them. And it's, I don't think it's working. I think you're still kind of withdrawn. I still think you guys are kind of closed off, keeping someone at arm's length while you try to figure this out. And they're seeing that, and they're trying to remain positive through it, but it's difficult. They're seeing that, you know, there's definitely been a major shift here. There's definitely a disconnect here. We have the Knight of Cups here in the reverse for the best approach to the situation. To me, this looks like a change of mind or a change of heart. Let's see what that's about. The Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not sure if you want, you, you see that there's an opportunity for you guys to spark things back up to, for you guys to have another chance with this person. But a lot of you guys are not sure if this is something that you want to do. Um, I do kind of see the Three of Pentacles sometimes as like a starting point right? Or like a launching pad for where is it going to go from here? And I, and I think that you can't see quite the same dream and vision that you once had. There was a time where, you know, you knew exactly where this launching point would launch you. You knew exactly where it was going, what that dream and vision looked like. And now I feel like that's what's changed. It's like, what are we even starting back up? Where is this even really going? You know, because I can no longer see it in the same way that I once did. I feel like you're seeing this person in this situation, this relationship in a whole new light. I wish I could take back my words and blocking blessings. So someone's realizing where their actions, their words, the things that, you know, the choices that they made are causing them now to not have the things that they want that have caused them to lose what's important to them. Somebody is having a lot of regrets here. You have the Six of Wands for the outcome. So let's take a look and see what that's about. Why is the Six of Wands the outcome here for Aquarius? You got the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The Nine of Wands in the reverse. And the King of Pentacles. So someone's trying to show you that they don't want to give up on this. That they want to take this seriously. That they're committed now. Um, you know, that this is what they want for the long term. This, they could be giving you a lot of attention. You know, giving you a lot of attention. Uh... A lot of validation, a lot of effort at this time. You just want to make sure that it's genuine. You know, that's all. You just want to make sure that it's genuine. You just want to make sure it's really it, it really is because they have had a realization and they've learned a lesson. And not because, you know, and not just to kind of save their skin, that kind of an energy. Jealousy. Some of you guys, there could have been a third party situation in some for, I don't necessarily, for some of you guys, I don't think it was like a full out. It could have been like flirting or something like that. For others of you, that doesn't have to be the case. That message doesn't have to resonate for all of you. Okay. Don't take it on if it's not for you and stringing you along. You feel like somebody up until this point 
you know, they weren't putting all of that effort and they weren't giving you all this. So it's like, why all of a sudden now are you showering me with this? I feel like you just want to make sure that it's genuine. I do feel like some of you guys are choosing to keep this person at arm's length while you've figured things out. You're just not sure what to do here. They're trying to stay positive. They want another chance. They're going to be putting in all this effort, so keep that in mind. Now, guys, these are not permanent outcomes. These are just where the energy lies for this week coming up. So keep that in mind, but this is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. And keep in mind, guys, don't let anybody rush you into making a decision. Take whatever time you need to for you to be confident in your decision if you need space to heal and process you know don't let anybody make you feel like you can't have that okay only you get to decide who you allow to have access to your energy okay and like i said the personal readings are on sale for the holiday season you can email me about that i also offer a tarot course that is a one-on-one -on -one course via zoom if you want more details about that you can email me as well and i do have a patreon if you guys want to come hang out with me over there that's also in the description box below but Thank you guys for being here and supporting me and I'm sending you guys so much love and light until next time.